Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, Real Catch Wrestling, Catch Jiu Jitsu. I've been talking about the positions. Look at my other positions of the rack stockade, of the monoplata foot post mount, of the gift wrap position. Uh, I'll do more stuff on the crucifix uh, position later on, and the back crucifix. And now, but now we're going to talk about um, the howdy position. Uh, since 97, under Dan Severn, I used to call it the windshield wiper neck crate position. So windshield wiper or howdy position. Talking about specifically for MMA, but also grappling. Anytime I can tie one or both, better yet, both of his arms up or get him on his side, if I can isolate his defense, I can punch him in the face, elbow him in the ribs. If it's not MMA, I can choke him out, neck crank him, submit him, arm bar him, whatever the case may be. So look at all these positions. Don't just look at mount, side mount, all the typical positions. Look at these advanced positions where I'm on top with gravity, but I isolate his arms. So um, there's two ways of getting into the howdy. Uh, number one, the windshield wiper, you can just do from side position. From side mount, anytime I'm under here, I could be up here, I could be hammer fisting with MMA. What you can do is I can just weave under this arm and come here. And now he's trapped. So just from an MMA perspective, I can hammer fist the heck out of his face and try and cut the corner of his eye with downward hammer fist and cut the eyebrow right here. I can elbow him in the ribs. And it's really exposed because the way he's bent right now a little bit. So I can try to break his ribs here. But when I do this weave right away, what I attempt to do, so like if I swim under here and get all the way under, right away I try to neck crank the guy. And you'll see I don't tap a lot of guys out in training with it, but I put it on for a second, and then I let it go. But you can just, here's the windshield wiper neck crank. So number one, I'm under here, or maybe I'm in reverse case up after passing. So I go to reverse case up for a minute, or I'm down here after passing, and I slide up on it. Or maybe I'm playing with a reverse toe mode. And he's defending, he's up here, I weave this around, and I go to the neck crank. Okay, if the neck crank's not there, he's a tough guy, if he was bigger, muscular, strong, and tough. I'm going to put this under the head. Now what I do is I'm going to chop, 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 to take up the slack and maybe I can choke him. Or, if that's not good enough, I switch to a reverse quesa, chop, switch back, chop, chop, takes up the slack, and there's my choke. Sorry. So by, by chopping, karate chopping, shoot though, on the ground, it's got to take up the slack for this choke and get things tighter. And I get that from my friend Dennis Holman, who's won a lot of MMA fights, like over 30, like 25, 30 submissions. Great submission guy, Dennis Holman. So if I'm here and you want the choke or you're at a jiu-jitsu school with no neck cranks, you switch to reverse case. You chop, it takes up the slack. Chop, chop. And there's your choke. Drop your weight, isolate them, as always. Um, so, and, and don't forget, you can elbow and work on that eye. Hammer fist there, punch, elbow the ribs and hurt his eye and try and cut him. Now, another way of getting into this position is from this kind of Kesa Katami sit-out position. Now, even if he's good and he's defending with his uh, arm in the side here, if I'm under hook here, I like this kind of sideways T to or T Z position. Under hook this arm for ground and pound, or you can sit out a little bit, but not a huge sit out like judo. You don't need to. Just ride him up here, heavy on his chest. And now I'm working ground and pound, right? Maybe stuff opens up from there. If that's not good enough, I can work ground and pound by doing. So keep this in. I can work ground. Or you're defending here. I can work ground and pound by coming up here. Okay, I put this foot over the head, and now I'm going to punch him behind the leg. Uh, Yushin Okami, and I think Akiyama were doing this. Up here, if he takes it off, whatever he does, see this way, then I can help him. If he does this, uh, this mostly just this arm, he puts that out, well, easy into the leg staple here, and I got the top mounted crucifix, and then here, okay? So it's a great, great, great position. If it's just grappling, there's no MMA, no hitting. So whether I have uh, under this arm, which is a better position for me to be riding heavy on his chest up here, and then I got the quesa, okay, all this. But if he's defending, he's a jiu-jitsu. Let's say he's not, not hitting him. He's keeping this in tight to his ribs. I can still ride up on him here. I can even 
suck under that arm a little bit. I can yank it, pull it up, and get this knee under his shoulder. From there, I put the foot up and see if he reacts so I can go to all that howdy, neck crank, and choke stuff. But if he doesn't, then he's just chill there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull, lift his head and I'm gonna try to put his chin right there into my knee pit and try and go. And there's a kind of a leg scissor slash triangle head choke. So, uh, and this is the end. So here I am and, and kind of get from different angles. I'm gonna put this here and if he doesn't react, eventually I'll suck this up and I'm actually trying to put, sorry, trying to get his chin to my knee pit there. And see, there's an actual triangle because he put his arm in. So there's an actual triangle there. But if that arm's not in, it's just a head scissors. So leave this arm out of it. So here. So if he doesn't put that arm up, I just go here. Right? Now don't pretend you know what's going. We're done in a second. Here. Boom. I lift it. Here. I triangle. I go off at this degree angle, at this weird angle this way, and I lift. And there's my head triangle choke or head scissors. So if I'm using, especially if you see how I'm using ground and pound or flowing into these positions or um, putting on that windshield wiper upon passing, I'm looking at the legs and he's shoving me maybe down towards his hips. Sometimes I can come up here and see I go to the howdy and then I go to the mount and I go to the choke. Or um, just to end here, let's say I can't finish the howdy. I can't finish the choke or the neck crank. Maybe this elbow is a little bit here instead of deep. So if I can't finish it, I can always mount this guy. Okay, I can still ground and pound. Or I can start to come here and transition into, into gift wrap. The other video I filmed tonight. So you can transition into the gift wrap position. So know that if everything else fails, or your arms gas out, fatigue from lactic acid, you can go to the gift wrap position from the howdy and do all that stuff and the chokes and uh, stuff I, and juji and everything from the gift wrap. Look at that video. All right, thanks guys. I hope you appreciate it. Kato uh, Sang, he's going to fight uh, this weekend, so good luck. Gamate. Uh, he's a Kyoko Shin fighter, so it'll be interesting to watch how he does in MMA. Uh, giving him some tips the last few months. And um, I guess that's it. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks. Hmm? <laughs> Stop it.